everyone. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. And yes, surprise, I am bringing back for the time being the monthly readings. Now, of course, this is going to be on a trial basis. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we will see what kind of feedback comes in from these videos. So I'll determine then whether to continue them. But for now, this is going to be April 2019. My website is angelsouls444.com. Let's get started. Hello, Leo. Let's see what's going on for you for April 2019. If that's picking up on the microphone, that's a potential blizzard that you're hearing in the background. Can't wait for that one. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have going on here for you. All right. So the first card up for you is Rose Quartz. I love this because I was feeling the love energy, but it wasn't, it was sort of, you know, kind of nebulous. So I was waiting to get um, more of a message with that. So this is inner child. So this is healing for you guys. It's about love this month. And I'm not talking, not yet, at least we're not talking about romantic love. What it feels like is love and healing for your own inner child, but loving and respecting the inner child and everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Um, making sure the kids are all right and having a bonding experience. So honor that inner child, let that child, that inspiration flow forward. You know, before you had bills, before you had <laughs> all this, well, actually, I know my childhood was, you know, probably the most stressful part of my life, the most traumatizing part of my life. So, you know, it's always kind of funny to me when we do have these sayings, it's almost assuming like, oh, kids have it easy, right? Kids, they don't have any responsibilities and whatever. So um, they do, right? And I just learned a lesson from that card as well. <laughs> they do. But this might be you going back and addressing something that occurred in childhood. Okay. So be ready for that. You'll be all right. Black tourmaline protection. So black tourmaline, very grounding. It's like black obsidian. It, it's um, very anchoring and it absorbs negativity. But this talks about protection. You are now protected. You are now aware of your spiritual team. And so you can look at some of the harder things, but it's all about love. That's really what it is. It's this um, compassion, this Mother Mary kind of energy. If you work with Jesus, it's the Jesus energy, right? Um, so learning to have compassion for yourself and to not, yeah, because they're, they're making me feel like there's a disconnect between who you started out being and then you had all your circumstances happen in your life and then you started to take on a different perspective. For some of you, it might have been like, I need to be seen or I'm not validated or um, me first, me first, because you don't know when all the lollipops are going to run out, right? Let me get mine now. Uh, again, it's a general reading, so that's not going to apply to everybody. But, <laughs> but what I'm talking about here is going back and sort of resetting yourself from before whatever happened. Yes. So if you're watching this, you're like, what are you talking about? I had a great childhood. Okay. Well, go back to some of those inspirations that you had as a kid. And if you're like, oh, please, as a kid, I thought I was going to be an astronaut and go to the moon. Um, you don't necessarily have to give that up. You might not literally get into a shuttle and go to the moon, but who knows? I mean, maybe you will, but you can look at what the actual passion was behind that. What was the interest behind it? If all you cared to do is go to the moon, just to say you did it and just to be famous, that's not, <laughs> that's not something to hang on to. You know what I'm saying? So just give that some thought, connect into the passion part of it, that childlike inspiration. Okay. So then we have body stones balance. So as you go through these times and you're going through these self-realizations, you're healing, you're being, you know, again, they said you're protected. So you're okay to look at these things. And of course, if you need more support, you can always lean on other people for support professionals, that sort of thing. But you can also work with Archangel Sandalfin. Sandalfin helps you to be balanced, to be anchored, to balance your physical self with your spiritual self. Okay. What that's going to do is it'll keep you from flying away with yourself and going, oh no, no, all I have to do is stay positive and then I'm going to be spiritual. It doesn't work like that. You're denying yourself a healing process if you work out and around and uh, you know, use your spirituality as an excuse to not face things, right? Um, Sandalfin's really good like that. Sandalfin helps you feel very, very peaceful <laughs> and feel in touch with the earth and help you understand that you can heal your spirit, but within this body. 
okay? The healing all layers of you. <laughs> all right. I love this card. This is one of my favorites. Okay, so it's Dioptase, which is different from Diopside. It's Dioptase, heart healing. So you're really giving yourself a chance to let something go, to open your heart, and maybe even be honest. You know, if anybody's ever accused you of being too self-centered, maybe, again, it's general. It's not going to be everybody. <laughs> but if you've been accused of being self-centered, maybe there's some reason for that. Where did it begin? How did it start? Um, you know, what were you taught? It's, it has a lot to do, here, I'm going to put the deck down here, it has a lot to do with this inner child card here. You see? So give that some thought. And because these are both very, very much about the heart and about love and about healing, like this is really a big, profound month for you to finally just like open it up, let something go. And when I say let it go, I don't mean like, oh my God, let it go. I'm not talking like that. I'm talking, oh, I can come to terms with it now. I feel good about this now. I'm okay. And that's it. That's realizing that you are in fact okay. And that you can live in the space of feeling, um, in, in the space of feeling healed normal for some of you. Maybe you've not felt normal, you know. I don't see things the way kids see things, you know. Um, yeah. Or, or feeling like you're on the margins all the time or you're other or you're different, unaccepted, you know, whatever has made you feel rejected. You're letting that go now. You're healing that. Okay. So we have Amber as your uh, color card. This is all about sacral chakra. So this is Archangel Gabriel kind of territory. So you can work with Gabriel. Um, unfortunately, um, this is also the area where you can carry a lot of child abuse if you have that in your history. So you know, bear that in mind, um, in that healing and letting free flow go through that area. So that's creativity, intimacy, money, the emotional body. Um, a lot of, look at that. It's almost like purifying any old energy with the fire of light. Yes. Amber, awaken your creativity. The number is 15. So there is that. And I've pretty much already explained that this is revamping, restoring that area. Okay. Let people know where you come from without victimizing yourself, you know, to get people to give you sympathy or what have you, but, you know, really focus on allowing yourself to have some true healing and, uh, you do belong and you are loved. All right. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you so much love and take care.